Thanks, Lila. One! 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 Shawnee, that's your cue. Are you sure you want to do this, Polly? Yes. Think of it as a science experiment. Now go! Okay. If it's for science. the ding-dong ditch, is that it? <laughs> the next time I see your parents, I'm telling them how ill-behaved you are, young lady. But... Oh, boy. Hurry! I have roller coaster fever, and it can only be cured by riding the Whopper Whirler. My assumption is that the real thing will be much safer. No offense, Polly. Uh, yeah, I guess my ride design could use some work. Ready to get ready? Yep. Tiny power! <laughs> <gasps> oh, my walk-in closet! <gasps> One wind-resistant, high-speed-proof do come in right... <gasps> Shawnee, no! Fruity lip gloss is a total faux pas. Do you want a bug flying into your mouth when you're screaming at the top of your lungs as you plunge from the top of Whopper Whirler Peak? Did you say bugs? And screaming? And plunging? No, thanks. Can you believe Mr. Quidnunk thinks I'm ill-behaved? I know Grandma said I'm supposed to use the locket to help, but she didn't say we can't have a bit of fun along the way. Uh, I guess Mr. Q isn't a fan of fun. Like the time with Shawnee's cat. <laughs> Remember the time? Sorry, I hit my ball under here. Holly! And who could possibly forget? Watch out! Coming through! Holly Pocket! And all the other times that we ended up crashing in on Mr. Q. It's not like I want to hang around Quidnunk's house. Uh, who would mage haunted vibes? But it's like every time I use the locket. Ah! Holly, you in there? Ah! Go, big brother! Freeze him! No, run! No, stop! What are you doing? Uh, hanging out in the closet. Weird. Mom said I had to give you guys a ride to Wacky World. Actually, Pierce, we have our own ride. Whatever, I'm over it. There are approximately 473 reasons why that is unsafe, unsound, and potentially illegal. Come on, Shawnee. Just enjoy the ride. Sister? Yeah, how did she?
biggest, wildest, fastest coaster on the continent! What did you say, Gigi? Blackers! I said there's Polly Pocket. I knew she wouldn't miss out on opening day of that roller coaster. The screaming, the plunging, the bugs in your mouth. Yuck! But at last, today, the locket shall be mine. <laughs> yeah. Then we're gonna shrink everyone in Little Ten. Not a corkinet, Gwen. I can't have my own granddaughter ruining our secret plan. Now, I'll stay behind that. As long as she doesn't know we're here, we have the element of surprise. Ooh, I love surprises. Three, please. You gotta be this tall to ride. But I'm almost... <sighs> Don't worry, you can go on it. After you hit your growth spurt. Now make way for real riders. You should be ashamed of yourself, mister! Because he ruined our day? Uh, no. Because he's wearing the same ensemble as a bunch of other people here. That's a uniform. Oh. Hey, Polly, maybe you're tall enough for the baby bumpers. Have fun not getting in. <laughs> <sighs> Masai, looks like my roller coaster fever is going uncured. It's okay, Lila. We may not be riding this Whopper Whirler. Genie, scan roller coaster. We're riding our own. Not to rain on your parade, but the last coaster you built was a one way ticket to Splatsville. This one will be an exact scale replica of the Whopper Whirler, just as safe as the real thing. Scanning complete. Genie, send roller coaster to 3D printer. We'll be there soon. As you wish, Polly. Gigi, there's Polly! The locket will be mine. Look! Whacker's Weasel! Whack him! <laughs> <laughs> It's a painful job, but somebody's got to do it. Whopper Whirler copy complete. Tiny power! Maybe I'll just observe. Shawnee, you're the one that sung in front of a boatload of people and helped stop Grizel's evil plan to shrink all of Littleton. This bitty coaster is nothing compared to that. <laughs> I guess you're right. It'll be fine. Perfectly safe. What are you doing? Gotta keep it looking classy. You know, in case this is the end and they have to scrape little me off Polly's wall. <laughs> I wanna look good. Hi, Ma. It's fine. So bad? Let's do it again! You got it! <laughs> that pocket kid lives around here somewhere. Destination in 100 feet. Proceed to the route. I'm on the route. Proceed to the route. Huh? Where? Proceed to the route. Gah! Good for nothing technology! <laughs> Yikes! Haunted house! Maybe Polly lives there and ghosty monsters gave her shrinking power. Don't be ridiculous! You know Polly got the shrinking locket from her grandmother. Oh, right. At least we don't have to go into the haunted house. <clears throat> it's gotta be one of these. <laughs> oh, my head's spinning faster than electrified electrons and my stomach flip flops so many times I can't tell if it's inside out or outside in. I feel so alive! Again? Again! Speed and my hair is not 
you the time I bought the turbo straightener and my hair went like this? Well, actually, it was more like this. Uh, ladies, need to interrupt salon talk. We are about to be flatter than that last hairdo. Oh, right. Go big, Spark! Polly? Oh, thanks, fashion accessory. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. It's not fair that Pierce gets to ride the Whopper Whirler all day. <gasps> Pierce! The Whopper Whirler! We have to get to Wacky World and warn them! You're right! Something bad could happen to the real Whopper Whirler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow your roll, Polka Dot. Just because ours broke doesn't mean the real one will. It was an exact replica, flaws and all. Go big! Genie, determine weakness of roller coaster. Flaw found. Faulty tension screw on rail 64C of quadrant Q. We have to save them. But why us? The park has a safety inspector whose entire job is to make sure it's safe. Grandma said that the locket would show me ways to help. This is it. Tiny power. No phone, no GPS, no map. How are we going to find Pocket and that locket? Grin, darling. Making tiny car sound effects is not going to help find Polly. That's not me making tiny car sound effects. That's a tiny car making tiny car sound effects. Hey! Huh? Uh, Grande! She must still be after the locket. Who wouldn't want an adorbs locket? We don't have time to deal with them. We have to save the Whopper Whirler. Give me that locket! <laughs> Gwen, get off my back and get them! Okay. She's gaining on us! <gasps> Haunted house! She's stopping! Where is she? Oh, she drove toward the haunted house, and I ain't going near a haunted house. We ditched him. Wacky World, here we come. Wacky World, eh? Then I'll cut them off. Hey, what are you doing on my... The only thing here with a loose screw is you, kid. This part of some shorty pants plan to get on the ride while I'm not looking? No, I'm serious. The whole thing is gonna collapse. <laughs> like I'm gonna believe a kid knows more about coasters than me. Now scram, ding dong, or I'll call security. Where did those rugrats go? Mmm, tastes like pond. Swampy. Come on, Grandma, pick up. I need you to call Wacky World and tell them there's something wrong with the coaster. They won't believe me because I'm too... Huh. He thinks I'm too little, but he underestimates how little I can be. Tiny power! <laughs> There it is! Rail 64C of Quadrant Q. Oh, no! <laughs> gotcha, pipsqueaks! be 
able to get us in here. And why would that be? Wait, where's Polly? Sorry Polly couldn't be here. You could say she had a whopper of a problem to take care of. Lila! Whopper? We have to get to Polly before Grizel does. Come on, let's get the pocket girl. Yo, oh, this thing is seriously heavy. We gotta find the quadrant of the coaster with the faulty screw. Yes, done and done. Polly! Polly! I'm coming for you! <laughs> Can't escape me now, Pocket! Are we hunting butterflies? No. It's Polly Pocket season. We have to get that net before that net gets Polly. I know. Emergency Manny set. This isn't the time for nails. Clip, clip. If we snip the bottom off, she won't be able to stop Polly from fixing the coaster. Are we moving? Here I come, Polly Pocket. We need to snip faster! goes down, the whole amusement park could be toast! was enough to secure the screw against the coaster's vibrations. And now, home time, please. My hair cannot handle another loop-de-loop. -loop. What the? <laughs> Is it over? Nope. We're riding again. Wait, what? It was a total rip-off. They shut the Whopper Whirler just because apparently it was being held together by candy. Huh. Polly and the girls didn't mention that. Seemed like they had the time of their lives. When they got back, they were still raring to go. Okay, team. You got the paint? Roger that. Yep. I know Grandma said to be careful not to shrink things that are too big, but we have to make a big difference. We gotta move fast so nobody sees. Ready? Ready. What the? Ding dong ditching again? That's it. Where are you, Polly Pocket? Okay, here we go. I hope this works. Tiny power! All this commotion has my eyes playing tricks on me. Mrs. Pocket, I want to have a word with you about your ill-behaved daughter. Hi, Mr. Q. Hi, Mom. Polly is one heck of a fine young lady. You should be proud of her. 
What was that about? Who knows? Oh, you couldn't have fixed a hole in the porch while you ran it? <laughs> <laughs> Messing with the wrong girl. Once you'd eat peas, peas you will eat. Oh boy. <laughs> Go big! Polly? <laughs> you were supposed to feed Paxton the peas, not paint the kitchen with them. Big sister, Pax has to listen to me. You have to listen to Pax too. If you can see where he's coming from, you can connect with him. He's uncontrollable. <laughs> Good evening, Polly. Miss Mentz. <laughs> And my darling smidgen says hello. Oh, hi, Miss Mentz. We didn't hear you come in. Polly, you won't have to worry about Pax tonight. Miss Mentz will be watching you while we go out for dinner. But I like going out to dinner, too. Sorry, Pumpkin. It's date night. Thanks for watching them, Emma. The pleasure is all mine. All right, young lady. You should be doing your homework and... Oh. Are you ready, Polly? Coming, Lila. I think not. But Mom said I could help Lila with her new dog walking business. Well, then, it seems only right. Yes! It seems only right that this fledgling entrepreneur walk my smidgen. Finish your homework by the time she returns. I'll consider letting you out to socialize. But my homework's not due until... No buts! I'm the babysitter and you'll do as I say. Now, to your room and you'd better not come out that door till I say so. Uh, see you soon, Polly. <laughs> She's probably a shape-shifting lizard lady in disguise. She wouldn't listen to me. Now Lila's all alone with those dogs. Eh, I'm sure Lila will be fine. Slow down! Act Plan 436. 436. Uh, is that the plan where we make cottage cheese wigs and hide in giant muffins? No, Gwen. It's the one where we finally get Polly's locket. Maybe Miss Mint is the bizarre world Mary Poppins. Lila? Jeannie, three-way call mode. Polly! <laughs> Shutty help! Dogs are out of control! Wait. You coming, Polly? But Miss Mentz said you better not 
not come out that door until I say so. <laughs> but you're Polly Pocket. You don't have to go through the door, right? Right. If you get caught, Miss Mence will make mincemeat out of you. Polly, please! Oh, kids these days. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get in... Pajamas already? That's odd. Go big! Come on! Lila needs us! <laughs> Thank my lucky pleats, you're here! We got you covered. We'll show these dogs who's boss. Genie, search for how to control crazy dogs. Showing three results. <laughs> I am Lucero London, dog trainer. To get a dog to obey you, you must prove that you are the alpha dog. Okay. I'm the alpha dog. Do what I say. Lila, release Smidgen's leash. He's safely under my alpha dog command. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I did exactly what Lucero London did in his training video. What do you think can happen? As soon as you let go of the leash, Smidgen will take off? Smidgen, sit. <laughs> uh, guys, my practice of objective observational studies leads me to believe that as soon as you let go of the leash, Smidgen took off. Smidgen! <laughs> uh, one nine zero zero hours. The park has been cleared of stray canines. We got a bogey at two o'clock. Employment over Sly Dog. Smidgen, come back! Gotcha! Sorry, Mr. Dog Catcher, sir, but this dog is under my care. Well, then you best get it under control. It's going to the pound if I see it running around alone again. You won't. I've got this. Dogs are hard to control because they're big. When they're small, it'll be easy. But Lila can't go around town walking the world's tiniest dogs. Someone is bound to notice. Hmm. They'd notice a regular-sized girl with pocket-sized dogs, but maybe they wouldn't notice a pocket-sized girl with a regular-sized dog. Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs here! Gigi, I want to eat a hot dog, not be a hot dog. If you want a hot dog, then you're going to have to nab Polly's locket. We have to blend in. Keep your eyes peeled. Peeled? But I'm a hot dog, not a banana. I ride peaches all the time at home. We'll just giddy up and go right to each dog's house. <laughs> Filthy mutt away from me. Polly! Where's Smidgen? Oh no! Oh, I got the little cutie patootie. Gwen, put that disgusting dog down. Okay, Gigi. Come back, Smidgen! Polly Pocket? Ooh! Gwen, pick up that disgusting dog. We can use it to ransom Polly's locket. Ah! Gwen? Miss Grande? Nice outfits. Get her locket! Sorry, gotta go! <laughs> After them! The locket is almost mine! Bonsoir, welcome to La Gourmet.
Beef Bourguignon. Smidgen, no! Watch out! Run! Turn around! No brakes, Gigi, but at least we still got the steering wheel. <gasps> La Gourmet? Oh, I've always wanted to eat there. It's so chic. What's that all about? There is a dog and three tiny girls on the loose in here. Sorry, do you and the um, hot dog have a reservation? There they are! Look! Look! Uh, as you wish, madame. Dog is worse than sucks with sandals. I'm the dog walker. He's supposed to listen to me. He's not listening to anyone. Maybe we need to listen to him. See where he's coming from. Filet mignon for table three. Smidgen would come in here instead of the dining room because the kitchen is where the most food is. Hungry. Girls, I got an idea. Follow me. Hop on. We're going to get our smidgen back. Tasted that creme brulee. Smidgen, I got yummies for you. <laughs> there, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, that reminds me, we can't forget about the other two pooches. Lila, grab some steaks. Good thinking. They're in here somewhere! Come on, we have to get out of here! Smidgen! Let's go, Smidgen! Smidgen, stop! Your parents are headed home! If we don't make it there before they do, I'll be grounded forever! <laughs> Triple doomed! Smidgen, 
Ethan, run! <laughs> It was a lovely dinner, dear. That mutt! The mark! It's a shortcut! And anything we can do to make this ride shorter makes me happy. Good idea, Shawnee. Smidgen, park! <laughs> no, I said park! Hurry, Gwen! Faster! Jump, jump! I can't, Gigi! My buns are too tight! My chance at catching that dog! Your chance? Uh, you ruined my chance at catching that dog! You know I get paid by the dog, right? Cracker. We've been trying you to unionize for years, but they just keep threatening to fire us every time we bring it up. I was at the last meeting, and they wouldn't even listen to me. I'm just out here trying to catch corgis, dogs, and pit bulls. Although I do have an affinity for pit bulls. English bulldogs, French bulldogs. Okay, I have a few. Miss Sangha lives over there. We have to get to be back to her. Go, Smidgen! Lila, grab him out of my backpack. What are you doing there? I didn't know Lila brought you back. That's Miss Betts over there. Go big! Milo! You must have worked up a pretty good appetite to be sitting up here at the table with me. And did you just see that purple light outside the window? Even the odds. Smidgen, show us what you got. Little smidgen. How did he do? Oh, he was an absolute angel. Now, let me get your payment. <laughs> Look, Mr. and Mrs. Pocket are home. <laughs> Mrs. Pocket, have you done something new with your hair? Uh, no, Lila, the same as always. And Mr. Pocket, you have to tell me where you got that shirt. This old thing? Polly! We're home! Polly? Where are you? Uh, right here, Mom. Glad you're back. It's getting kind of late. Can I go give Paxton his nighttime bottle? <laughs> of course. 
I always appreciate how helpful you are, Polly. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Better, huh, Pops? Hey, Polly Pie. We brought dessert from Le Gourmet. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Mmm, <laughs> not bad. But did you try the creme brulee? Hey, how did you know about the creme brulee? Yes. Hold on, quadcopter faking left. <laughs> Pretty smooth, right? Smooth as satin bell bottoms. Smooth as my grandma's elbows. <laughs> Tricking out this drone wasn't easy, but my new mod quad does more than just fly. Look. Super Supremo Snack Station. Amazing! Magnificent Makeover Station. <gasps> Amazingly amazing. Uh, do you have an excellent emergency system? Why would we need that? Because you're steering us right into that! According to plan. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna thread the needle. Normally you'd mention threading the needle, and I'd be all for it, but this time, me no likey. Huh. I really thought I had the steering thing down. I was sure I wouldn't crash this time. This time? You mean you've crashed before? Only 128 times. But you know what they say. Get out while you still have all your limbs? No. The 129th time's the charm. <gasps> Uh, did you just peep? Lila, that wasn't Shawnee. Look! Aww. He's so cute, I would never take a selfie with him because he might outshine my cuteness. He's so cute that I want to hug him. No, Polly. The bird is cute, but he's a wild animal. He doesn't look wild. If you don't believe me, let's search it. Keywords, bird, Littleton, super cute. He's a... Tufted Pip Springer. See? They live only in the wild. And as with all wild birds, they're not to be touched. Right. But, um, what if he touches me? Oh, I know, right? He loves me. And I love you, too. I always wanted a pet bird. I think I'm gonna keep him. Aww. Wait! Rules are rules. No matter how cute, we have to leave the bird alone. Okay, I guess. I'll miss you, baby bird. <laughs> Polly, look! Are you imitating me? It's called imprinting. It means he thinks you belong together. I think we belong together, too. Oh, Shawnee, please, can I keep him? Uh, decide fast, because we need to get out of here now. <laughs> Captain Collywobbles? Go home. <sighs> right this long! <laughs> ah, go big! Uh, hi, Mr. Quidnunk. <laughs> Peeper's playing tricks on me again. Captain Collywobbles, go home and no more trying to get Polly's bird. Okay, you can keep him. Welcome home, baby bird. 
I bet you want to clean up and relax, so... Ooh, I know. Spa time! Exactly. Ready? Tiny power! Whoa! Good things do come in small packages. So, Shawnee, any info about what spa treatments tufted Pipspringers like? Nothing official. But I read a book once where these alien bird creatures got these laser brain massages and... I'm sure that doesn't apply. I guess we'll just have to wing it. Long. Oh, hey, girlfriend! You would not believe the tiny sweater we found for Baby Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's something I... Come on! Let's show him all his new stuff. Wait! I have to tell you something. Hey, Baby Bird! Baby Bird! Baby Bird? He's gone! I don't see him anywhere. Did Captain Collywobbles get in here? No, he's been napping on my bed all morning. Once you look past the fact that he tries to eat us whenever we're small, he's really a good cat. Then where's my bird? <laughs> Baby bird! Oh no! Cool your jet black jumper, Polly. He's a bird. He flies. He can't, Lila. He doesn't know how to. He must have found a way to hop up there. I'm coming, Baby Bird. Genie, set room to bounce tastic. As you wish, Polly. Tiny power! <laughs> you can let go! I've got you! <sighs> there, you're safe. He's trying to fly away. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Fly away? But he loves it here. He hasn't even tried on his new sweater yet. I did more research. Every year, tufted pip springers fly to Woodgrove Preserve to meet with all the other pip springers. When they're all together, they migrate south. There's a live stream from Woodgrove Preserve, see? All the birds are there. They'll be taking off soon. Shawnee, come on. Does this bird look like he wants to fly away from me? Well, no. But it is his instinct to fly. Then he can do it right here in Littleton. We'll teach him. Okay, you're all set. You ready? Wings in place. And all feathered up fancier than a peacock. Then let's fly. Oh, no. My hair frizz alert says a big storm's on the way. What are we gonna do? We'll teach him fast. <sighs> I meant, what are we going to do about my hair? Maybe we should wait until tomorrow. Or the next day. Or never. Safety, you know? The bird wants to fly today, so today we fly. 130th time's the charm, right? <laughs> He's doing great! At the count of three, you'll go solo. Ready? One, two, three! Yes! You did it! You're flying! Wait, what? Where are you going? He's heading south, the direction where the other tufted pip springers are. No way! He's just lost. Baby bird, if you want to stay with me, Polly, 
your favorite person in the whole world, fly this way. See, I knew he wanted to stay with me. Let's circle around town, then we'll bring him home. But remember, that website said his home should be Woodgrove Preserve. Why? He's never even been there. Home is where the heart is, and the baby bird's heart is with me. Now let's fly! When have you done everything I have asked? You know the storm is coming! Yes, Gigi, I know the storm's coming. I'm bringing the flamingos in right now. Huh? <gasps> A baby bird! Oh, I want him, I want him, I want him! Ha! Ah, got you, my new favorite is pet ever! Been. I may never recover, but physically, I'm fine. Me too, I think. Let me see. Oh, the tassel looks good for me. Yep, I'm fab. Phew, the mod quad's okay, but I'd better keep it safe in my backpack. Tiny power! Now all we have to do is get up there and save my bird. I can't believe he's stuck in Grizel's penthouse. Can you imagine the decor? <laughs> we'll get him out. Are you sure this is a good idea, Polly? There's no choice. We have to save Baby Bird. Whoa. This is seriously freaky. Lions and tigers and gnomes? Oh, my. <gasps> Incredible. Even her dolls need makeovers. Imagine if she had your locket. All those miniatures will be made from real people. <sighs> Won't happen. She's not getting my locket, and she's not getting my bird. <gasps> my bird! <coughs> no sign of the Grandes. Let's move! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shh, we'll get you out of here. Don't worry. I love you too, but we have to run. I have the flamingos, Gigi. looks just like my new baby bird. Hmm, that one looks just like... Huh? Gigi must have gotten a Polly Pocket figure for her collection. <gasps> oh, it is my new baby bird! And Polly Pocket's trying to steal him! Uh-oh, run! <laughs> No, Tiny Polly Pocket, you wait. Wait till I get Gigi and tell her I captured you. 
Guess who's getting a second helping of dessert tonight? Oh, Gigi! Gwen! Gwen! Honestly, if Grizel's gonna decorate with birds, she should at least go with some that add a splash of color. Throw in a parrot every once in a while. But you gotta admit, the biological accuracy is remarkably impressive. There's always a way. We just have to find it. I know. Go big. Good thinking, Shawnee. Go big! Oh, boy. Go small! Tiny power! Tiny power! <laughs> <laughs> I guess going big isn't always the answer. Now all we need is for Grizel to have a time machine in her collection, so we can't go back and do that again. Her collection? I got it! <gasps> we can use the gnome gardening shears to cut through the wire! My thoughts exactly. Hurry! This better be good. I was very busy building important things. I got Polly Pocket! Well, where is she? Uh, but she was right there! Shawnee, I'm going to Woodgrove Preserve. But I thought you wanted to keep him. I did, but then we got trapped in that cage. Tiny humans don't belong in bird cages, and wild birds don't belong in my bedroom. You should be with your family. Woodgrove Preserve, here we come. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> and what the heck is that? Grizzel! I'm gonna get you, Polly Pocket! And your nasty little worm-eating bird, too! Evasive maneuvers! Punch it! On it! Where are they hiding? Oh, these storm clouds are so thick! <gasps> Sweet satin slacks, we got rid of her. Don't be so sure of that. You won't get away from me, Polly Pocket! I want that locket! She's not giving up. What do we do? We're slowing down. Uh, why are we slowing down? All part of the plan. <laughs> you are losing power, Polly Pocket, but I'm just getting warmed up! Polly, what are you doing? We can't get through that hole in this wind. We'll get smushed! She's right. Statistically speaking, in all probability, we'll end up a sprinkle on the donut. We're gonna take that chance, Shawnee. Time to thread the needle. Ha 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 ha! Can't run away from me now, Polly! I'm too close! Donut again! 
win! Oh, you want donuts wet? Go win! You did it, Polly! <laughs> On to Woodgrove Preserve. Oh, I see them! I see birds! Ooh, ooh, I see them too! Yep, tucked in pip springers. The baby birds family must be here. Your mom, your dad, your brothers and sisters? It's really them. We'll just land on the closest branch and... Oh no, the birds are starting their trip to the southern islands. You have to fly after them. You can do this. I believe in you. And you should believe in you too. And don't worry, I'll help. We'll lead you right to them, okay? Aw, oh, I'm gonna miss you. But I know you'll be happy. You belong with your family. Ready? Go! Do what we do, baby bird! Flap! Flap! Come on, guys, flap for him! Flap! 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 You okay, Polly? Yeah, I'm good. Is it the bird? Do you wish you'd kept him? No, not at all. It was definitely right to let him go. Then what's the matter? I don't know. I'll miss him and all the fun we had, like when we gave him that makeover. Maybe you don't have to miss that. Ooh la la, you're the perfect dream. <laughs> 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 you just think you're the cutest. <laughs> <laughs>